plan on. My dad was sent to prison last year when I was 10 years old. All I remember is going to school and just having a Valentine's Day party and coming home. Don't remember what I did that day. No clue what happened. So it was like a normal day and it was a, I had a long day at work and I drove, was driving home and I pulled up in the driveway, I was ready to get out of my car and my phone rang and it was his, my ex, husband's girlfriend that called and all I really heard her say was that he's in jail. What do I do? He's in jail. The only question that immediately came to my head was how am I going to tell Madison? Um, she's such a fun bubbly kid and I knew this would crush her world and that question sat with me for so long and I remember sitting in the car after I hung the phone with his girlfriend and thinking I wanted to cry, not because he's in jail, but because my daughter's life's gonna change as soon as I tell her this, and I can't take it back. I took a big breath and I went in the house and I tried to pretend like it was any other day when I walked in, and that night I emailed her teachers and explained what had happened and said, please give Madison the best Valentine's Day party on Friday, because on Friday when she comes home from school, I have to tell her that her dad went to jail and when she comes to you on Monday, she's gonna be a different child. And I need you to help me help her work through that. The biggest question I really had was, what would my friends think? How am I gonna tell my friends this? Or like, will I just keep this inside forever and just never tell anyone about it? It's just gonna be like a secret I keep. When a parent goes to jail, it's kind of embarrassing. For me, it really was, because I was like, what would people think about me? Or, how will people judge me? Will they think of me as a bad person or a diff completely different person? It's heartbreaking as a parent to watch your child be in that position because then you're not sure if you can pull them out of it and you have to find ways to do that. Um, but it, look, it literally looked like the world landed on her shoulders and she didn't and she had the weight of all of that and I had to figure out a way to dissect it and pull it apart so that she can be comfortable with it. So for us, it's easier because she's got the support and I have the support of my family. I'm not sure how it is when people don't have the support. I can't even imagine what that would be like. That's why I hope there's great organizations out there to help people who don't have the support that we have. Children with incarcerated parents tend to be invisible. If a kid does come to you and talks to you about it, then you should really make sure that they feel um, visible. Um, help nurture them and find ways to make them feel valid and powerful. Show what they, they do provide as being valuable and make them see that someone's actually paying attention to their talents.